All right, guys. Um, well, I'm going to walk you through this real quick. The, the primary thing I'm trying to do here is speed up the video so you're not getting bored with it. But as you can see, the higher your vehicle, it's a little more difficult to get this kind of unhooked and uncovered um, because you have to climb up on either the running boards, the back bumper, or the back wheels to kind of reach all the different things. But once you get that uncovered and you kind of deploy the tent, it's like it would be on any other one, I think, is, you know, as far as reaching things and deploying the different kinds of pieces of the tent here. So right here, I just, just kind of opened up the area where you crawl up into the door of the tent. Um, those side windows, I opened them up just to get some air in there. And then you'll see me put the, the little um, spring bars on the awnings of those windows. That's the one thing you have to do. Let's see where we're at on this. Oh, I had stopped it. Anyway, that took, to get that awning out, I had to go inside the tent, and that probably took about two minutes. So total setup time, a little over 12 minutes. That looks good. Now the other thing that you might notice, I've left that, the top cover just hanging there. You can do that, but it kind of limits the entry into that rear door. So it slides out of a little slot if you don't want to do that and you would do that before you unfolded it but this is just kind of a setup check and make sure it's dry the last few times we've uh the last few times that we've had it out it's been a little bit wet and rainy and we put it up so i just wanted to make sure it's dry actually it's really dry so i'll probably just collapse it now and time that too so you guys can see that Okay, I'm going to show you something inside the tent. I'm filming this with my phone, so it's a little more shaky, but I wanted to just show you when you're in here, you know, what it looks like. And then what we do is when we're about to go, <clears throat> this is the this is the mattress that always stays in here. But we're, we've got some of these sleeping bags that really come, they compress down really good, you know, made of the synthetic stuff that's really warm. So I've laid one flat type down low. I've got an army blanket there, a pillow there that also kind of has that fill stuff in it. And then this is a mummy bag <clears throat> that we leave in here. So we got two sleeping bags, an army blanket, and a pillow. I think there's another pillow actually underneath that mummy bag. But we leave those in here. And then these are the how big the, um, the screen sides are. So you get a nice cross breeze. I was showing at the beginning of the video these little triangular things. And what that is is from the outside you pop a little kickstand down and it opens up a little pocket so that when you zip everything up you've at least got those breather holes. And then um, what I was showing right here is you see this little tight band that goes across? There's four of those. And what they do is when you start collapsing the tent, see I'm hooking it right here, <clears throat> they get your walls started in. So in between 
in between these braces right here, which are kind of like a convertible top. This is now pulling. It's going to fold in the tent as you fold it up from down there. Um, the other thing that you need to do before you go is it's got these little flaps that are right here where this, um, this hinges. It has to be split so it can hinge. So this flap goes down. You tuck it whenever you're camping down along that fence. Down along there, you got to pull that up so that it's so they can hinge good and not get caught in the hinge. You don't want it to catch in there. So anyway, this is what the inside looks like. I'm gonna back out so you can kind of see the whole thing from the door. Bear with me. See here. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going down the ladder now. So this is the front corner all the way. And I can't zoom out with this iPhone, so let me show you. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I'm kind of parched. <clears throat> let me show you real quick. Right here is a big heavy gauge zipper, and that's where you would start to zip on your awning if you put the awning option on it. That way I'd be coming down right now inside of an awning instead of just outside. And that's kind of nice, I mean, especially if you do some winter camping because it's going to kind of give you a sheltered area to stand and get dressed and stuff underneath here you know underneath the the actual tent here is a where ladder and everything you've got a lot of room i mean i've got the thing hanging there the cover but so as i leave out i'm going to put the rest of those straps there's one there and one over here i'll put those straps back across like this and then i'll be done and then I'll I'll cut to the other camera so you can see me collapse it. Again, I just kind of sped this up so you guys don't get bored. I, for me, I feel like I need to close those windows all up uh, before I, you know, put the tent back up. You probably could just take those bars out and flap everything down, leave the windows open, and fold it up the same way. I just kind of didn't want to... I didn't want to fold the tent while the windows are rolled down, if that makes sense, because I always coil them up and roll them down to the bottom when I unzip them. So I undo that coil and zip the windows back up. Then I collapse the tent. So it takes a little longer, but to me it's more tidy and kind of ready.
style works. Got it all done. As you can see, reaching stuff is the hardest thing. guys all right we just entered to the George Washington National Forest we're heading up here to a trail that's called Peters Mill and um, there's another one up here called Tasker's Gap but we're gonna go Peters Mill which heads back north and east and we are winding around right now just to get to the top of this ridge and then the, supposedly Peters Mill just goes down the top of the ridge for about 27 miles something like that um, it ends up back in Front Royal, which is close to where we live. We don't live too far from there, so it should be good. This is kind of an interesting little path, and there's no better way to take this than through with our Land Cruiser. We're in the 96 uh, 80 series, and we've got our rooftop tent on top. So we'll film a little later when we get setting up camp tonight. If you guys will see us uh, deploy the tent, set up camp, we'll show you how easy it is with a rooftop tent. We got all the room in here for all of our other gear. There's no, no big tent sitting in here or anything. So, it'll be fun. things it got on us that last time it gets a little tight right in here and it opens back up if we meet somebody up in here this is gonna be a little tight isn't it? there's a little place that we can get over down and set up a camping yeah we'll set it up okay careful okay go Married down to 25. We're a little nervous to go lower than that. Usually I run around 18 for off road, but we're loaded pretty heavy, so we're going to keep it at 25. It's, I'm looking at the back tire, got a lot of good grip area, so it should be fine. This will make the bumps a little easier too on us. I had these all set up for highway, I had them at 45. <laughs> They're pretty rough on this. We've gone about an eighth mile. A lot of what the trail looks like. So much uh, green foliage here, and a lot of this right here is pokeberries. And that's what we call them in Texas. I don't know what they call them here, but they are staining, you, man. They're red. Looks like blood. There you go. Interesting scenery.
So where are the states that you can see? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Right Didn't break this going. The tent slept really good. This is our little kitchen setup right here. Got the ice. That's the ice box. So, mess kit over here. This is what goes on the front of the rack when we're coming. So, it's one of these little totes. Rubber made really strongly. Got all the plates and stuff in there. You just got your bacon. Frying up a full pound of bacon. That's hot. 